Hello friends, welcome back. In this section, uh, we're going to discuss about quorum, uh, we can say quorum disk, and uh, we're going to see how to do uh, testing for your cluster to make sure that everything is working fine and in case of disaster, things will work as expected. And what some more things to keep in mind. Uh, so let's start. Let me open the PPT back again to discuss about Quorum, why we need it, what, what exactly Quorum does and other stuff. So, as you can see here, uh, in, in our case we have two nodes, although Quorum works for multi-node also, but I'm not going to discuss about multi-node. Let's take an example of two nodes to understand the Quorum. Uh, in two node scenario, both the nodes communicate through the cluster channel. Okay. What about if this channel has some problem? Then both the nodes will be not able to communicate with each other. This is known as brain dead situation, where both the nodes are up, but they may think like other node is not available in the cluster and go for fencing. Right? Although both the nodes are up and running and working fine, still they are going for fencing because they are not able to communicate with each other. Yes, we can put uh, bonding over here or teaming over here to make sure that we have redundant communication. That's fine, but that is the only one uh, case or one instance. What about if node 1 is highly loaded, okay, but it's still active, it's working on some task, but it's not able to communicate with node 2 properly because cluster communication is not that prioritized. Okay, it comes very with, with, with very less priority. So what about node 1 is working perfectly fine serving uh, all the users but it's not able to communicate with node 2 because, because it's under high load. That doesn't mean that node 2 go, uh, go ahead and you know, uh, reboot the node 1. That's not a good thing, right? Because node 1 is doing what we want node 1 to do. That is uh, serving our users. So it's serving properly. So how do, how do we make sure that the node 1 is really dead before rebooting it? So how to make sure that? How node 2 will come to know that node 1 is dead before rebooting it? Okay. So in that time, or you can say in that condition, quorum disk comes in. If you go back in this particular slide, you can see both the nodes are connected to storage, right? Node 1 and node 2 both are connected to storage. So storage can vote for us. Storage can give a vote stating that yes, node 1 is dead and node 2 can go ahead and do offensive. So we will take a learn from node storage for voting. So quorum disk uh, does not uh, fence the nodes, it actually provides a vote. So how storage will come to know that node 1 is dead? Actually storage will give a small task to node 1 and node 1 has to perform that. If node 1 fails to perform that, that means node 1 is dead. That's the simple thing. So what we are doing, we are bringing a third vote into the cluster. Currently only two votes are there, okay? So we are bringing a third vote in the cluster to make sure that when a fencing happens, it happens with a proper node, okay? Let's see what we need to do and we are going to discuss more about quorum while doing it. So let me minimize this. Let's go to the node one first. Make it big enough. Even node two, let's make it big enough. Great. Okay. So in node one, if I do, multi sorry, multipath hyphen ll, this is another disk available, two GB disk. For quorum disk, you can take anything more than or uh, anything in size more than one GB and less than 5 GB will work, but it should be more than 1 GB. But 
greater than 5 GB does not, does not make any sense. Anything 1 GB to 2 GB works per perfectly fine. Okay, so this is already used for uh, web hosting. If I do PDF, I can see this, this guy is already, this LUN is already used for web hosting. So this is the LUN is currently available for forum. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make, or I'm going to initialize this disk with forum. So the command is mk disk. And if you do as an H, you can see what are the uh, parameters you need. So mk disk hyphen c, the path of the disk that is dev slash mapper, that is 2, and the label. You can give any name. Okay. Hit enter. It's saying that I'm going to destroy whatever data inside this lab. Are you ready for that? Yes. Let's copy this command because I have to run the same command on node 2. Yes. Great. So, quorum disk has been initialized. Now, I have told like, uh, or I have uh, discussed like, uh, node, or you can say storage, will give a small task to the node. What can, could be that small task? You can generally write a small script to ask the node to do some activity to figure out whether it's dead or not. The best way to do it, to ping a gateway, okay, any gateway of, for any NIC or any other device in the network. Uh, which should be accessible from both the nodes. I used to ping the external gateway because if my nodes or my servers are not able to ping the external gateway, that means they are equivalent to dead. So I'm going to ping my gateway which is 192.168.1.1. What I'm doing, I'm sending a very quick command, counter one and wait one, which is like very quick. It will take less than a millisecond or something like that. Done. Right? So if my node is not able to do a small activity like this, that means that node is equivalent to that. And in that case, my forum mode will go with the other node. Right? Whatever I'm talking, I'm talking about or I'm talking in scenario of two node cluster. When quorum goes in more than two nodes, the thing gets changed over there. Okay. Uh, you can read the Red Hat documentation for quorum to understand it better. Okay. So for quorum configuration, what you have to do, you have to click on configure. Go to QDisk. Currently, it's do not use a quorum disk. That is selected. I'm going to click use quorum disk. I'm going to do with label, although you can give the file system path also, but that is deprecated. It's written over here. I don't know if it is deprecated, why it's still available. Maybe because the same manager you can use for uh, RHEL 5 cluster. So maybe that is the reason. Just give the name or the label that you have given. And the program that the command we just have run, right? The ping command. Interval and score and TKOA, uh, TKO, you don't have to give this thing. If you are running uh, a cluster on 6.2 or above, uh, Red Hat had made this adjustment. Uh, if you are running on 6.2 or above as a cluster or for the cluster, you no need to give all this information. The cluster suit will figure it out by itself. Just hit on apply and wait. The moment this screen will refresh, you will get all the details. See here. I haven't filled it. The clustering tool itself figure it out what is the best. This is not available in RAW 5. This is available and introduced in RAW 6. 6.2 and above. Okay, let's me open the 
one of the terminal for nodes and let's see what happened inside the configuration okay so if you go down you can see a quorum disk and the heuristic program the program which you run to figure it out whether the node is healthy enough to run in the cluster great now if i do close that i can see the quorum disk has came in it's online great now we are going to do some activities to figure it out whether quorum disk works perfectly so let me bring the website back it's currently running on node 2 so i'm going to adjust the screen a little bit let's put this guy here this guy here so you can see all the messages going through what i'm going to do is a simple thing i'm going to choke the node too okay i highly recommend not do not perform all this thing in production environment to test you need to do all this testing before putting the nodes into uh, production so what i'm going to do i'm going to crash the node too okay and i'm going to figure it out whether node 1 find it perfectly with the help of quorum so just do tail hyphen f slash bar slash log slash messages and make a marker over here ok so let's go ahead and crack this node node 2 that is eco sorry clock sys rq <coughs> uh, once I am going to hit enter node 2 should contact the quorum disk first and then should go for fencing so just hit enter I have hit enter on node 2 as you can see here, node 1 has contacted QDisk and then went for fencing. So let me open my KVM session. As you can see here, node 2 has rebooted and the service has migrated to node 1. This error is actually for my CGI script, I believe. Uh, I can fix it later. It's not a big thing. So like this, you can go ahead and do more testing. Uh, vice versa on both the nodes. Crash this one, crash that one to figure it out. Whether nodes are able to figure it out or detect that other node in the cluster is not healthy enough you can shut down or you can uh, turn off or from the uh, operating system uh, the mix and <coughs> the cluster mix and figure it out whether other node can detect that uh, that other node is not able to communicate like that you can make scenarios <coughs> One more thing I want to show if you want to shut down a node in cluster you cannot simply go and say Init zero or shut down command. It will not shut down it. First, you have to shut down the cluster service. 
So let me grab my V edit here. So on the top RG manager, then CNVM and then CMAN. So this is how the can say layers are on the top RG manager, then CNVM, and then CMAN. So first you have to stop RG manager, then CLVM, and then CMAN. And if you have to start it, then you have to start CMAN first, then CLVM, then RG manager. So first I'm going to do service RG manager stop. Sorry. Just wait. Okay, then CLVMD stop and then CMAN stop. And now you can shut it down. Yep. And if I bring my see yeah, it's going down. So this is the way to sh shut down a node in cluster. If you want to bring it back up, no need to take ILO or something like that. Just do fence underscore node node two. And this should bring this guy back. See here. Because inside our fence we have configured reboot for when we are whenever we are going to initiate a fence, it is going to reboot the node. So we can use our fence device for rebooting. No need to take console or something. I mean to say no need to take ILO console just to reboot the system. Which is a good thing. So this is all from my side. Uh, if you have any question, please feel free to post me. Uh, thank you for watching.